Yes guys, I returned the ultimate dash camera or what I thought was gonna be the ultimate dash camera. I'll tell you all the reasons why I had no choice but to return the owl dash camera in just a second. Yes, a hello accent with a GoPro. <laughs> when I first saw the owl dash camera, um, it was actually a review that I saw probably about six or eight months ago. I was super stoked. It looked like a great product and it still is. Don't get me wrong. There's just a lot of things missing from it for things that they claim that it should have and things that it doesn't claim that it has, but should have anyways, if you know what I mean. So when it came on sale this past Black Friday, I pulled the trigger right away as soon as I saw the price. I was super excited to get it and I knew it was the dash camera that I wanted for my car. I got it, started doing the unboxing, filmed all that, actually installed it in my car, fully or did a full install like like I didn't think I was gonna return it, so I did the full reinstall of all the wires and everything. If you guys haven't seen that review already, click right up there, you guys can check that out. And the more things I got into the review and started testing things out, I got very disappointed. And when you compare it to a normal dash camera, there's a couple of features that stand out, but in reality, it's pretty much exactly the same. And for that price and that service charge every year, that I just couldn't do it. Now I know most people will say the 350 price range is just totally out of their budget for a dash camera whatsoever. I understand that. But when you're talking about some features not seen in any other dash camera, I think it's totally worth it. Even the service fee, $99. I know a million of you guys are gonna complain about that $99 service fee, but you gotta understand that when you have a communication and you talk to sell your towers, there is definitely a service that they have to pay to provide that service to you. So someone has to pay for that cost. So the $99, I totally get it. I have no problem whatsoever with that. 350, maybe a little bit too high, especially for what it is. Now, my biggest issue, here it is, is that does not have any cloud storage and it doesn't have any onboard battery. So what happens is that if someone breaks into your car and unplugs it, even with I, my testing, I tested five seconds, 10 seconds, I think 15 or 20 seconds and then 30 seconds. And it wasn't until around 30 seconds or more did I get a photo of seconds, myself seconds, breaking into my car. Seconds, so for you to get a photo of someone breaking in your car, they have to leave that dash camera alone for 30 seconds or more. Most crooks, most thieves are gonna be out of your car within 30 seconds. So if they have any brains whatsoever, they're gonna take that dash camera, unplug it and take it with them. And once they do that, all the footage is gone. If you're lucky and you have a great signal, maybe, just maybe, you get a photo of them. But without the camera being plugged in, all that video footage is gone forever. And then my second biggest issue, which I actually didn't mention in my first review, but I found out afterwards, is that you can't download 440 footage out of the front camera unless you're using the service, the 4G service. And I think that's ridiculous. If you're able to use Wi-Fi to get 720 off, you can definitely use Wi-Fi to get 440 off. And they're just doing that, just so you can use your minutes. And shame on you guys at Owlcam for doing that. That is unfair and that is not right. My third biggest issue is that it does not have any infrared lights on the inside camera, so at night, you pretty much are in the dark. You cannot see what's going on in the cabin, so why even have a camera there to begin with at night? So you gotta have infrared lights so you can see what's going on. 
definitely a huge issue. And the fourth and final issue is the fan. You can definitely hear it. It's not super, super loud, but does have this whining sound. And as you're driving, if you have the radio off, you're definitely going to hear it. Even sometimes, if you're listening to it like a talk show or a podcast, you're going to hear that fan running. And I actually think they know about this issue. I think they need to redesign the fan to make it a little bit quieter. And the reason I say they know about it is because they actually turn off the fan when you come to a complete stop. Now, when you're driving, there's gonna be road noise, your radio's gonna be on, you're not gonna hear it as well. But when you come to a complete stop, even with your radio on, you can still hear it. If you turn that radio off, you're gonna hear it super, super loud. So I think they know about it and they actually turn off the fan when you come to a complete stop. So definitely gotta fix that fan issue. Other than that, I think it has a lot of potential. So don't, guys, don't get me wrong. I think they really need to redesign the whole thing, come up with a cloud storage feature and work on that pricing a little bit. Um, not very much, I think it's definitely still worth more than what they charge for other dash cameras because it does have that 4 uh, 4G connection. But 350 is kind of high for me, even with all those features. Maybe 275, 299, maybe, but... <sighs> That's pushing it, guys. But other than those issues, I like the camera. I think the camera is very well built. It has a lot of great potential if they just fix a couple of these issues and also work on their pricing. If they can't get this, unfortunately, I don't see this company making it. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Eric with MDFM. If you haven't checked out the full review of the Owl Car Cam, check out that video right up there. I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.